This week, 142 new stalls were installed in North America, bringing the total to 52,576. Pilot Flying J added one station. Tesla added three. ChargePoint added 13, which is really a dispenser or a stall. It's just a way they report it. EVgo added one. EV Connect added six. Rivian Adventure Network added two. Okay, let's go ahead and get through the data. First one I want to call out is the Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub Alfitronic station that opened last week. I pulled up on PlugShare. Yeah. This one right here, Long Beach, California. It's a restricted station at the Mercedes-Benz Research and Development Campus. They just announced that they're going to be partnering with Starbucks to install 100 of these throughout uh, the United States, starting, I believe, in California on Interstate 5. So we should start seeing more of these come online. The next one is Pilot Flying J. They added one. Right here in Mascata, Georgia. I'm going to be going there this weekend to do a site visit video and I'm going to get to take the Cadillac, which always is a nice trip for me. Normally, it's my wife's daily driver, but um, I'm going to be using it this weekend. The next one is Tesla. They opened three. One 12 salt station in Alabama, Alexander City in the Deep South, where they're very badly needed. The next one is, let's see, Charge Point. They had kind of a slow week. 13 and right here GPM investments if you remember GPM investments opened three stations in my home state of North Carolina in Wilmington Waynes Waynesville and Asheville just recently and now they're opening another one in South Bellet Illinois if you want to look to see what that looks like here's the Wisconsin border here's South Bellet there's a pilot flying J that's coming and then just on the other side of the interstate is GPM investments with a four stall um, CCS and Chatamo uh, four dispensers so this is one of their bigger sites and I cleaned up the sequel a little bit just to see what GPM investments looks like and they're not big enough to track in my opinion yet this is what it looks like they've got 12 stations open this one here in Rock Hill uses a Zooster 100 kinetic power booster, so it's not using charge point. And also the Flenum, or there's a maker of DC fast charger from Taiwan or somewhere like that. I've got a hard time pronouncing it, but they have one of those here. Otherwise, charge point. These are the three that I was talking about. Wilmington, Asheville. I'm sorry, it's Weaverville, not Waynesville. And then the new one that just opened in South Bellet, Illinois. Next one is evigo and i'll keep an eye on gpm investments they're not a very big organization but should they just start blowing up all over the place which they kind of are um you know they're doing one a week that's pretty good um then i'll start tracking them but i don't think that's going to happen evigo added one in brooklyn new york ev connect is the next one they added i believe it's six yeah six and this one right here is very close to me. I might have to go check that out. It looks like it's a single ABB 50 kilowatt dispenser, if I had to guess, at a Cadillac dealership. Next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. They added two, both in the state of Maine. And I just checked this last night. There wasn't anything for the Rivian Adventure Network, and they just did it today. So brand new, two stations in the state of Maine. Um, and as far as honorable mentions go, BP Pauls put this infograph out on Facebook and I went to go look it up because I didn't remember seeing these stations come online, but it looks like this. What am I doing? That is Rivian. Let me redo BP Pauls. Sorry about that. Stand by. All right, so these three are three of them. And if you look at the open date, it's June. So this infograph with these four locations is a little bit dated, but they do have the one in Indiana. 
and uh, Sacramento and up here in Washington. The Washington one, uh, where is the Washington one? I think that might be this one. No, I'm sorry, it's this one, Vancouver, Washington. Anyway, thanks for watching.